What's good everybody, DJ Techromancer here. I'm not behind the DJ decks, I'm doing tech, games, and more. So first things first, Happy New Year. I'm trying some new things with the channel, so I hope you will like it. Go ahead and leave some comments on if you like what I'm trying to do, if you don't like what I'm trying to do. But today, I have something new for you. This is the Game Sir. T4 Khaled it is a wired controller, so it's not wireless like the T4 Cyclone. I know some of you love your wireless controllers, but unfortunately, this is not that. This is a wired controller. And, and believe it or not, this is a Hall Effect uh, stick controller that I missed. But we're going to take a look at it right now. We're going to get it out of the box and see what makes this different from its brethren. All right. So the T4 Khaled retails for $41.99 right now on Amazon. This makes this the cheapest GameSir controller out of their lineup right now that includes Hall Effect because the G7 SE is $44.99 and the T4 Cyclone uh, fluctuates anywhere between $45.99 and $43.99. So there you go. Go ahead and get my trusty unbox knife and get this started. So right here, so that's a back tab right there. Easy enough. Plastic. Got to get it gone. There we go. Cardboard box, just slide it sawing out. Here we are. Cable, that's always a good thing. Pull tab here. Oh, pull to unbox. They, they labeled it on the box. How nice. Okay. Opens up. Controller. Documentation and cable and what's this oh so that's a little plastic brick right there to help it hold it in other than that that's it for the packaging all right so here's the controller oh my god it looks pretty i'm so happy to have a controller that's a different color I'm getting tired of having nothing but black controllers as y'all heard me complain in the last video with the, the Saturn Pro controller. Now, what I like about GameSir is this. They have their own label GameSir wraps on their cables, and I love that. It's like, it's such a, a extra little nice thing that makes it feel premium, even though it's cheaper than a lot of the Pro controllers out there. This cable feels really good. It's a braided cable, as you can see. And look like it might be the same length as the uh, GameSir uh, G7 SE cable. On the box, it says 2 meters. So I'm going to double check it with its uh, reverend in a moment. Okay, I can definitely tell you that this cable is definitely shorter than the cable that came with the G7. And I understand why they gave you a longer cable with the G7 SE because it was intended to work with the Xbox and everything. And since it wasn't a wired controller, they gave you plenty of cable to have it sprawl across a living room. Whereas this one, they're expecting people to hook up directly to their PC or device. So. Not as long as the cable, which is kind of a bummer, but is what it is. Let's see what came in the packages. All right, so probably got nothing free, but it's always good to look because you never know. Might They might have gave you something free, like in the G7 SE. I love that they gave you a month of uh, Game Pass, which was nice. Oh, boy, this is tight. They, they got it in there real tight. All right. There we go. The the, the fake GameSir pick. 
put that over in the side. The the what I call the this the sticker, the quick instructions, and then you got the regular instructions. That's the interesting thing with this, even though you can use it with the G7 SE2, they have specific software to calibrate this controller. So we go with that. And this is the big documentation. Throw that in the box. All right, guys. So I am going to definitely test the sticks. My normal pull test first, which, yes, those are magnets. Not that strong of a magnet compared to some of their other products, but maybe they was going for more of a subtlety with this one, or maybe you can calibrate the strength in the software. We'll find out. I'm also going to test to see on a gamepad tester if there is dead zones or not, because, you know, you got to check. Just because it says Hall Effect doesn't mean anything. You got to actual check. There's three and a quarter meter jack right there. And their standard game server layout, one, two, three, four, and your auto fire setup buttons. Ooh, this one has nice clicky did buttons. It's not mushy like the uh, G7 SE. I'm going to like this already. And ooh, texturized triggers. Gotta love a good texturized trigger, if y'all can see that. So, I, don't, I, I like it. D-pad, I can tell you right now, D-pad feels like ass. So, that's going to be a hit on this one. But, if you're not playing fighting games, when you're not using D-pad like that, the rest of the controller feels good. All right. Let's go ahead and get to testing, shall we? Okay, I am at the GameSir website where you can download the GameSir T4K app, which you just click this download link right here. And for those that don't see it, it's www.gamesir.hk slash pages slash GameSir minus T4K minus app. If you're just wondering if, in case you own a uh, a G7 and a G7 SE, you can use this software to configure this as well. But I went ahead and downloaded it. I'm going to go ahead and get it installed and see what this software has in store. But before we do that, let's go ahead and go to Gamepad Tester. We can confirm Hall Effect Stick because no. No, it's straight up zero. So that's a good thing. All right. Let's get this software installed, shall we? Run anyway. So you can see it's going to come up and say, nah, bro. It's not, it's not digitally signed. Now, they did do say that you could also get the app from the Windows or Microsoft Store. I just chose to download it straight from the website. Because me being me, it is what it is. Okay. Oh, wow. This has profiles. Okay. That's already a cool thing right now. And it came up saying updates. All right. Let's update it. All right. I'm already liking this already. Oh, by the way, look at the, the glow. The glow looks nice, doesn't it? Nice little touch. Matches my PC with the... L if you love RGB, you're going to love this controller. So, all right. It's going to take a, a minute to edit, uh, to update. So, with the magic of editing, we're going to go ahead and fast forward. Low vibration, profiles. So, you can configure a profile, add a description. So, up to three profiles. A lot of you are going to like that. Sticks, triggers, vibration, lights. I want to change lights. So you can have it animate different ways. That is really freaking cool. And you can change the brightness too. 
and they have presets. So I like that already. MLG style. All right, so what we got? We got flow, rainbow, pulse, alarm. Okay, pulse. Standoff. Right. Now, it'd be nice if I can change the uh, color on standoff. Because I would love to have this like red and green instead of red and blue. Well, maybe I can. Oh, there we go. Yo, you can set complete total zones. That is cool. All right. So now. I got red and green going on right now, which I like. I like that. That that's the contrast colors. Yeah. Okay. I see right now. I'm gonna like this controller. Except for the D-pad. D-pad feels like ass, but we haven't tested it yet. Yo, what? And you can change the response curve on this thing. Bruh, 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 what? Okay, this, con oh, all right, this, this, $41.99, and you giving me features that I had on my Xbox Elite controllers, both the, the original and two, I have both of them, only use one because, unfortunately, my two has stick drift. That's why I started doing this, guys, because I got tired of paying a hundred bucks for controllers that are supposed to be pro controllers, and they have stick drift. And these are under a hundred bucks, and they have Hall Effect sticks. Come on now, let's get with the program. Anyways, I like the software. This is look, looking really well. All right, I guess the next thing I need to do. I'm not going to touch anything else because I like to do out of the box stuff and then I I can go back and customize it the way how I like but let's play some Overwatch to do a analog stick test then I'll play a fighting game you know me I got every fighting game under the sun almost I I've been upping my PC collection I I still got some thing, things that I have on my PS4 that I don't have on the PC that I plan to get soon like Soul Calibur and all that stuff but we gotta do a fighting game test, and we gotta do the traditional contra test for also the D-pad. All right, let's get to it. I'm gonna do Overwatch first. I'm worried that the your right stick might be a little too sensitive, so you definitely gonna have to calibrate that one a little bit. But left stick seems fine. Oh no! It, that was a good aim. I like it for doing the meme. Okay. Actually, D pad is not as bad as I thought. It just feels weird. It's actually very responsive. Yep. Very responsive. Yeah, ultra responsive.
All right. So what are my thoughts about the T4 Khaled? I was actually very surprised. From feel, I thought the D-pad was going to be bad. But no, this, this is like controllers back of old when you got that new controller with your console system. D-pad felt stiff, but you started using it and you have to break it in. You don't have to break it in per se, but once you start using it, you're like, oh, oh, wait a minute. This D-pad is actually really, really good. So it surprised me there. Hall effect sticks, of course, so you're not going to get drift. I, I love the buttons on it. It's, I know some people like uh, membrane buttons, but I've gotten spoiled with its brother right here. And I, I kind of like the digital buttons. It just is what it is. Now... I will say, I feel like each of these are meant for a different use case. I know they say they're for a broader use case, but I feel like they're in a different use case. And this is, in my humble opinion, you can, if you get one, which I will have affiliate links below, but if you end up getting one, you can agree or disagree it all what it is but i feel like this one even though they say they, it is also meant for like the switch and everything i felt like this one was really meant for pc gamers you know you, you have a wire plug it in you can customize the colors customize how you want everything to feel this one was definitely meant for pc gamers in mind and i like that so where does it put the other two at? So as you know, lately, this has been my daily driver over the 8-bit Doe Ultimate. Because it's, it's a wireless stick and all that. And it works well with the Steam Deck. So if you're looking into something more like this, where it's wireless, I would suggest, of course, wireless use for your PC. or But actually, I'm thinking more of you get this if you have a pc handheld that you like to dock or or a switch that you like to dock if you want a pro style feeling controller then get the t4 pro cyclone or the regular t4 i i have the pro as you know so there you go which gets me to this guy so what's the deal with this one I would say this one is what they advertise it for. Use it on your Xbox. You can also use it up on your PC if you want to, but use it on your Xbox. That's what they designed this for. This is supposed to be an Xbox style controller. So definitely use it on that. Yes, if you own a PC or a PC handheld, you can also use it on that too. But this was meant for the Xbox. And I think that's why this one is the only one that has the lock triggers compared to the other two. But this one has the weird pairing mode on the bottom to switch from like uh, the dongle or actual Bluetooth. Because this does have actual Bluetooth built in. It's just you got to use the weird pairing mode. So you lose out on a 3.5 millimeter jack on this one. This one, you can customize it all day, every day under the sun, and even use, customize the colors, which I like. I like that. I, I, I can, you can literally make this your own, which is really cool. And I really enjoy that. So that's it, guys. That's it for me. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. I'm trying to grow in 2024. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up, subscribe if you like content like this and other type of content. I'm looking at, at grabbing some um, handhelds in the future and reviewing some more handhelds as well as controllers come out because it's January. So I feel like I'm catching up on controllers. I am going to grab some old arcade sticks that I need to review like that the Xbox version of the 8-bit though and a couple of other things. But... 
in order to catch up i got some pc project gaming projects that i'm going to show off and like i said i'm going to probably start grabbing some hands that handhelds to show off some uh gaming handhelds and emu emulation retro emulation handhelds until then guys peace love they didn't know.